This medication is used to treat severe bacterial infections of the skin. It works by preventing the bacteria from growing. It is administered intravenously and is typically used in the hospital setting. The daily dosage and timing will be determined by a healthcare professional based on the specific infection being treated. Be sure to follow your healthcare provider's instructions for the best results. This medication is administered by a healthcare provider in one single dose. The injection is given slowly into a vein over a period of 1 to 3 hours. It's important to inform your doctor if your condition persists or worsens. If you experience nausea, vomiting, or headache, it's important to let your doctor or pharmacist know. Injection reactions such as flushing, hives, itching, backslash chest pain, chills, or shaking may also occur, and you should tell your doctor right away if you have any of these symptoms. Stopping or slowing down the injection may help alleviate these symptoms. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed to you because your doctor believes that the benefits outweigh the risks. Many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it's important to be aware of potential serious side effects, including bone pain, fast heartbeat, unusual tiredness, or swelling of the ankles slash feet slash hands. Additionally, this medication may rarely cause a severe intestinal condition due to a bacteria called C. difficile. If you experience diarrhea that doesn't stop, abdominal or stomach pain, or blood slash mucus in your stool, it's important to contact your doctor right away. Prolonged or repeated use of this medication may result in oral thrush or a new yeast infection. Contact your doctor if you notice white patches in your mouth, a change in vaginal discharge, or other new symptoms. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, it's important to seek medical help immediately if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, including rash, itching slash swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. It's important to note that this is not a complete list of possible side effects, and if you notice any other effects, it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist. If you're in the US, you can report side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov slash medwatch. In Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before using Comersa, it's important to inform your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies you may have. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions or other issues. Make sure to discuss this with your pharmacist for more information. Additionally, be sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history before using Comersa. It's important to note that this medication may affect the effectiveness of live bacterial vaccines, so be sure to inform your healthcare professional before receiving any immunizations or vaccinations. If you are planning to have surgery, it's crucial to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. If you are pregnant, Comersa should only be used when clearly needed. It's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor before using this medication. Furthermore, it is currently unknown whether this drug passes into breast milk, so it's important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding while using Comersa. As always, it's important to follow your doctor's recommendations and guidelines when using Comersa. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that may change how your medications work or increase your risk for serious side effects. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. One product that may interact with Comersa 1200 mg intravenous solution is, heparin. It's important to note that this medication may interfere with certain lab tests, possibly causing false test results. Make sure lab personnel and all your doctors know you use this drug, especially if you are using warfarin or being treated for bleeding slash clotting disorders. If you or someone you know has taken too much Comersa and is experiencing severe symptoms like loss of consciousness or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help by calling 911 or contacting a poison control center. In the US, you can reach out to your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, while Canadian residents can call a provincial poison control center for assistance. Medical professionals may conduct laboratory or medical tests, such as checking your liver function, 
while you are receiving Kimersa 1200 mg intravenous solution. It is important to attend all scheduled medical and lab appointments. Be sure to consult your doctor for more information. Kimersa 1200 mg intravenous solution is used to treat infections caused by certain types of bacteria. It is specifically used to treat infections that are resistant to other antibiotics. This medication is given through a vein, intravenously, by a healthcare professional. The dosage and timing of administration will depend on the specific condition being treated and the individual's response to the medication. Be sure to follow your healthcare provider's instructions carefully. This medication, Kimersa 1200 mg intravenous solution, is used to treat resistant gram-positive organisms. It is administered in a hospital setting and is not meant to be stored at home. It is important to follow the healthcare provider's instructions for the proper dosage and timing of administration. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the U.S., you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.